Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of industrial automation. Ever wondered how your favorite beverages get packaged or how those perfectly measured bags of nuts make their way to store shelves? From advanced box filling systems by KHS Group to precise nut packing machines by Viking Masek, we'll explore cutting edge technologies that revolutionize packaging and production. Stick around to discover how these incredible machines boost efficiency and ensure top-notch quality in everyday products. The vast majority of beverages arrive in grocery stores packaged in strong, sturdy boxes. If you think that filling those boxes is a human endeavor, you're sorely mistaken. This is certainly possible, but automation brings productivity to a new level and allows you to get the job done much faster. The machine you see on the screen is a packaging system from the German company KHS Group. Amazingly, in just one hour, it is able to fit around 86,000 bottles in a box. But that's not all. The machine has a modular design and can be supplemented with blocks that expand its functionality. Thus, the manufacturer offers modules that independently fold boxes from a flat state into volumetric ones. Using the InnoPack TLM system allows you to save money. Control of all manipulations is performed by a single operator. The machine also handles the bottles with care and precision, reducing the probability of rejects to zero. Plastic is the most sought after material today, from which a large number of different products are manufactured everywhere. The fastest way to establish serial production of identical parts is vacuum forming. It is used by manufacturers of plastic packaging, toys, suitcases, and it is also suitable for the manufacture of parts and housings of various devices. The very first stage is the creation of the matrix. It determines the shape of all future manufactured products. Directly molding is engaged in special vacuum presses. They work with polystyrene, ABS plastic, sanitary plastic, and almost any other. The material depends on what kind of product you need to get as a result. The color and thickness can also be absolutely any. The plastic blank looks like an ordinary flat sheet. In a matter of seconds, it is heated to become soft and pliable. Now the plastic needs to be inflated. The sheet turns into a bubble. This procedure is necessary so that the walls of the product have a uniform thickness. Next follows pumping out the air and simultaneously pressing the plastic into the mold. In a matter of seconds, the material tightly covers the matrix, repeating every bend, hollow, or convexity. After the workpiece cools down, which again happens very quickly, the mold is removed. The last step is trimming and finishing. The sliding cutter cuts off all the excess plastic and makes holes if necessary. When you pick up a bag of candy or nuts from the store shelf, have you ever wondered who makes sure that the ounces written on the package match the amount of contents inside? If yes, then the next piece of equipment we are going to show you today is the answer to all your questions. This bag filling machine is designed by the Czech company Viking Masek. The whole filling process is divided into several stages. The first one is dividing the total weight of products into equal portions. The video demonstrates the packing of nuts, but the equipment can also work, for example, with candy. Each of the trays you see on the screen is equipped with a scale. This is how all portions have the same size. For the high accuracy here is responsible not at all a person, but a machine. The second step is the actual filling. The machine works with a long plastic bag. The measured portion of nuts is poured inside, after which the bag is sealed. This procedure is repeated over and over again, and the speed is adjustable. It depends on production needs, machine capacity, and can reach up to 300 cycles per minute. The particular machine that you see on the screen gives the factory a lot of possibilities, all because it works with bags of different sizes, from two to 12 inches wide.
Just as there are so many varieties of mattresses, there is more than one technology for creating them. Today, we will show you how the simplest and most traditional spring or box spring mattresses are created. Both humans and specialized machines are equally involved in the process. The former are responsible for mechanical actions, while the latter take over tasks where precision is important, as they are able to handle them faster. So, it is the machine that sprays the glue on the edges of the felt, which acts as an insulating layer. A polyurethane foam frame is placed on top of the glue, which helps the mattress to hold its shape. The place inside is intended for the filler, and it, as it is easy to guess, can be very different. In our case, the filler is a layer of springs and a layer of spring blocks. Felt is attached on top, the insulator should be on both sides. Since a mattress is always a multi-layer construction, the workers continue to work in tandem with the machine. The machine still applies the glue, and people attach the top layers on one side and on the other. These give the mattress softness or firmness. The last step is putting the mattress base into the cover. Notice how the machines here help turn and rotate the mattress for faster and easier access to different parts of the mattress. In factories, it all starts, oddly enough, with the raw materials. Sand, soda ash, limestone flour, and some other components like glass beads and dyes are mixed and then sent to the furnace. In order for the mass from powder to turn into a thick liquid, it must be heated to a temperature of about 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, special scissors cut the red-hot glass to get blanks of small, identical size. These drops of glass mass are sent to the molding machines. These are special capsules with a metal rod. Inside them, the liquid glass spreads through the voids and so takes the shape of the bottle. Although the products look finished, they have to go through several more stages of processing. The cooled bottles are heated again, this time to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. This is how the glass is removed from the residual stress that can cause the bottles to burst and crack. Finally, the last step. Spraying with a solution that makes the glass less prone to scratches and scuffs. Although a car tire is essentially a piece of rubber, it does not have a monolithic structure or molded shape. This feature allowed the emergence of such a service as tire restoration. The fact is that if the tire does not have serious damage, only wiped out from long use, it is much more profitable to restore the tread than to wear the tire to the end and buy a new one. The procedure can be performed manually but requires special skills and a lot of effort from the master. Large facilities that process several hundred car tires per day use specialized equipment. The machines you see on your screens were manufactured by the Italian company Marangoni. The first step is to cut off the old, worn-out top layer of the tire. The clean surface is then covered with a thin layer of non-vulcanized rubber. This acts as a bonding component. Next, the machine stretches the fresh new tread and puts it on top of the workpiece. This is the most difficult stage, as stretching rubber requires a huge amount of force, which the machine, unlike humans, has plenty of. After that, the machine applies pressure to the tire, providing a more secure grip, and all that remains is vulcanization, placing the tire in a hot chamber where its parts are finally joined together. This tire restoration is on average 30-40% cheaper than buying a new tire. Thanks for watching! We hope you enjoyed this glimpse into the incredible world of industrial automation. These innovative machines not only speed up production but also ensure consistency and quality, making everyday products more accessible and reliable.
If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the latest industrial technologies. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our next exciting video. See you next time.